Rising several thousand feet above the desert floor, the Santa Rita Mountains, located about 30 miles south of Tucson, create a cool enclave both for wildlife and for nature lovers seeking to escape the grind of city life. Despite the area's scenic beauty, heavy industry, in the form of Rosemont Copper, a Canadian mineral exploration firm, hopes to build the nation's fourth largest copper mine here on a combination of government-owned and private land. We're standing in what will be the middle of the pit. We're roughly at an elevation of 5,200 feet. So the pit bottom is projected to be 3,175, which is approximately 2,000 feet below us. The project faces intense scrutiny, and in response, Rosemont has launched an aggressive public relations effort, including free tours of the mine site. And then moving further to the left, if you look at this south-facing slope that has the brown switchback on it, that's the north side of the pit. And then the, the top of the pit will go along that, under that ridge, it won't, again, it won't daylight, it won't go to the top of the ridge, it'll be well below the ridge by several hundred feet. Uh, Rosemont officials say the mine would generate hundreds of millions of dollars in tax revenue for state and county governments over 19 years and provide hundreds of jobs. Yet many area residents, such as those in nearby Patagonia, oppose the project, citing concerns about pollution, traffic, and its impact on tourism. Uh, just going to the meetings and listening to everybody's concerns, whether it's the traffic, I mean, getting from Elgin to Tucson, you know, it's a good hour drive, but there's, there are wide loads coming and going right now that aren't, have nothing to do with the mine. Wait till the, if a mine opens up, you'll have to camp out in Tucson in order to go to the doctor, go get groceries or do whatever. So, I mean, it, it's going to change everything from the uh, environment to your travel to your way of living to your health. We don't need that kind of stuff. With three-fourths of the mine site on public land, Rosemont must secure approval from the U.S. Forest Service to convert thousands of acres of the Coronado National Forest for its open pit mine and ore processing facility. Opponents of the mine, which include Governor Janet Napolitano and U.S. Representatives Raul Grijalva and Gabriel Giffords, have lobbied the Forest Service to reject Rosemont's application. So with battle lines now drawn, it appears that whichever way the Forest Service rules, the ultimate outcome may likely fall to the courts to decide. Until then, this will remain a land of limbo, its future fiercely contested by those who wish to preserve its scenic beauty, and by industry, which hopes to exploit its mineral wealth.